Steve's in Cheam. Question or answer, Steve? Uh, question, James. Yes. Why do you not get the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning, poisoning when you're cooking on gas? Because you never cook for sort of 12 hours on end, do you? Well, if you was to be in a room and your, and your boiler's in the same room and then you have to have a carbon monoxide tester and if you wake up, you might have a headache or then you might not even wake up if you're, if you're unlucky enough to sort of be breathing in for long enough. But then when, say, Christmas time comes, you've got you know, the uh, door shut, it's cold outside. Yeah, but you still, you still. Going. I think, I think to get a carbon monoxide build up, you, you, you've got to have the boiler on for. That's what happens overnight. It's got to be on for hours. You very, very rarely use a gas ring for more than. I mean, the, your oven is ventilated, and your gas ring is. Why am I trying to answer this, mate? I haven't got a Scooby Doo. Yeah, nor do I. <laughs> Sorry you'd about. You think you'd get some of the effects, like a slight headache or something? Or I know you get a headache at Christmas when you're cooking dinner anyway, but I don't think that's linked to carbon monoxide. That's the eggnog. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out. Why Why don't... Um, yeah, because a gas boiler is what gives off carbon monoxide in a potentially hazardous way. So so I presume... I mean, I have to be right, surely. It's just it's that it doesn't give off enough to cause any, any problems. But I'll... Um, yeah, but I mean, if a boiler was leaking, it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be getting the full fumes. You'd just be getting a slight trickle coming out of somewhere where there's a leak. So if you're cooking on direct gas that's burning in the room with all four rings going, why don't you get any effect from it? Yeah, all right, you're on. I, I mean, I, I presume it's just because the carbon monoxide disperses enough, but then you want to know why it doesn't disperse when you've got a faulty boiler, which is fair enough. So we need the difference mapping. I, I, I'll do that. Steve, you're on. Charles is in Stockport. Nice part of the world. Question or answer, Charles? Uh, it's an answer to the carbon monoxide. Oh, yes. Um, carbon, uh, natural gas is methane, CH4. When it combusts with... Um, oxygen you get the the combustion products are carbon dioxide and water water yes. vapor uh, if you don't have enough oxygen yeah, i.e enough yes. air with it uh, you get carbon monoxide so theoretically you shouldn't get any carbon monoxide but from a proper you, burn for want of a better word yeah, if it's exactly, burning properly yeah. you won't get any exactly. carbon monoxide which is why it's exactly. a faulty boiler that creates the problems that, yeah. that have been so yeah. well documented you might, you might get a small amount but um you can have flueless gas um heaters which is a catalytic converter to make sure that even if there is a small amount of carbon monoxide you uh, get it converted to carbon dioxide Yes, I like that. Um, so, it's, I mean, it is it, the gas burner because the flame is blue. Everything's burning perfectly. There isn't any carbon monoxide, which is why you don't get any carbon monoxide poisoning. That's right. And Qualifications? There around uh, um, just uh, loads of science stuff. <laughs> <laughs> round of applause. Right, my question, James, is what is short crust? Why is the short in short crust, crust pastry? Easy, easy for you, 